hey sweeties welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel please make sure you subscribe and you give this video a thumbs up before wasting any time let's get straight to the video guys hi um Zelda M. i am an actress and a human being wow i was forced by you to go for an audition and i got the role and I realized that I actually have a talent to act and I've been acting since. Well, learning to act, I think, is more what I should be saying. <laughs> misconception is that you get lots of money. You don't. I thought that, wow, babes, chaleta, rents, the naira, the dollars, money, 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 get. No. It's not a thing. You literally have to have like three jobs to kind of sustain yourself. The life that you thought you'd going to have with being in the industry, but it's not the case. You literally have to juggle a lot of different things for you to actually have that kind of income. So that's the reality you need to know before you even get into the industry that get with totally money the first time around. You have to literally work hard and push yourself to get there. So yeah. My best advice, well, I can only tell you from what I know. So what I did was that I had no acting background or any acting experience before. So I just immersed myself fully, I still am. Whereas when I watch a movie, I now don't watch it just to enjoy it. I watch it to see how people are doing certain things or emotions that I'm battling with or different scenes that I'm battling with. You have, there's YouTube videos for you to learn more about it, like how to do with breathing and touching. Those are all things that you learn in acting school and you don't learn them outside of that. So what I did is that I immersed myself fully in it and I've learned a lot from the people that I work with every day. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask questions, ask questions, ask questions and listen. Listen to everybody, listen to the director, listen to the crew. They're gonna give the best advice possible to build you as an actress or actor. Mrs. Husband is me. I am Mrs. Husband. Mrs. Husband is I. <laughs> Well, I got married um, to the love of my life, my boyfriend of six years, and well, I felt like I was always going to be the person who was going to be over extra when they got married, you know, like, when you answer your phone, you're like, hello, hi, person, like a waiter will come up to you, like, hi, do you want some ketchup? Excuse me, I'm married. But yes, I'll have some tomato sauce, thanks. You know, that was me, and I said I'm going to do it because that's exactly what I wanted to do. And I mean, it's great when you marry someone you love so much and when you're best friend because it's fun and he's just fun. So, Mr. Husband happened in that way where I was captioning everything on my honeymoon with husband this, husband that, husband this, until so someone just said, Oh, wow, you're Mrs. Husband. And I was like, Yeah, that is me. I like it. I'm going to go with it. Funny fan story is going to be when I was at the airport in the bathroom, toilet, in a cubicle, inside with it closed, with my pants down and me sitting to make a tinkle. I hear a knock and someone says, Zama Puma la Pusias go to win. I'm like, first of all, I wasn't hiding. Second of all, I'm in the toilet, like, you know, wait for me to finish. So I sat there, I was shell shocked, I didn't know what to do. And eventually, I'm like, okay, let me just put on my earphones on and pretend like I didn't hear them. So to avoid it being awkward. Hi, boo. What pella food? Oh, God, you love. Ha! My babo. Nali bite, boo. Ye yen. Ha ha ha. That's how I go. What's that? No, no, no. Yara Jesus. God me help me because, whoa, you don't do that. Ah. So I got out of the bathroom and there they were waiting for me. And you greeted them, smiled, everyone's happy. But then I had to tell them that, guys, you don't do that to a person where I'm in the cubicle and toilet and you actually interrupt me while I'm inside. I feel like that's rude. And you don't do that to anyone. Even your own mommy, your sister, your brother, you don't do that. You know? So that was that. It was most awkward. And the most, I would say, what word is this? Invasion of privacy. I think would actually, I would say that. Yeah. That was it. This one. This is my favorite hairstyle. This one right here. Today, when you're looking at me, this is it, honey. You and me. Hey, boy. You understand? 
But in general, curls are my favorite. I love, 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 love the hair. I mean, those who follow me know that it's my absolute favorite. So whenever something like this on, I'm feeling myself all the way to Beyonce and Nicki Minaj having a burger. That is how much I love this hair. It's amazing. It makes me feel good. Hmm, okay, now let's go to the fun facts. Okay, fun facts about me, I don't do my nails. Because I hate things that I have to look after, as I say, that I have a dog and a husband. I think that's a lot. So, I don't do nails because I just hate maintenance and having to keep going back to do them. That's me, personally, even my toes. All is empty. I am a house hermit. I am always in the house, always at home. I think I got that from my mom, having to be home by 5 o'clock. Afternoon it doesn't really give you options to be out much. I think I just got used to that. Mom was very straight. Um, my favorite lip color is red, as I'm sure you guys probably know that or have seen that. Red is my ultimate favorite. If I were to ever create a lipstick, hopefully one day God will allow me to do that, I will create the perfect red for all shades. Maybe three different types of reds for like all um, girls and all shades and stuff. What's the skin tone? That's pretty cool. I love ice cream. I love ice cream. I love ice cream a lot. Um, I love ice cream. Like I can eat every single day and waffles and pancakes and crumbs. I like sweet stuff. I like desserts. And that's a bad thing because liking desserts means that it's better when you like savory. Because like savory is like just salty cracker stuff. Yeah, well. Okay, guys, that is just about it. If you want the full video, I will leave the link below. But when I found very disturbing is just like Tino Chinyane, um, this channel doesn't really have lots of subscribers so that makes me wonder again when people are subscribing to your channel is it because you're famous interesting or it depends on how active you are on youtube do let me know on the comment section down below because just like Tino Chinyane, their subscribers the numbers are quite low Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and you give this video a thumbs up.